OK, so pull-offs are the opposite of hammer-ons. What we do is we fret a note. So I'm going to pick fret 3 again on string 1. And I'm going to pluck it with my picking hand. And then I'm going to flick off or pull off the string to the open note, open string. So again, I've got two notes and I've only plucked one. So I'll just show you that again. OK, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to pull away from the neck of the guitar at almost a 45 degree angle um, because what I actually need to do to keep the volume of the note the same as the pick note is to bend the string or just flick it ever so slightly. So I'll just show you that in the close up. Now, if I pull away from the neck more at a 90 degree angle straight up, it sounds like this. So you can't really hear the second note properly. I'm not retaining the same volume level. Uh, and similarly, if I pull away right down from the, the neck of the guitar, it sounds like this. I've actually pulled the string off the fretboard. If I try that on a different string, say string 2 for example, I'm still going to pull straight down. It's going to sound a bit like this. So you can really hear me bending the string there and also I caught the uh, string 1 underneath when I uh, pulled off. So keeping like a 45 degree angle should stop you from catching unwanted strings and stop you from uh, hearing the bent note. So what you can try to start with, as before, just from fret 3, string 1, uh, just, just pause this for a minute and just practice pulling off. So trying to keep an even volume all the way through. OK, so once you've tried that, then try using different fingers. So as before, this time we're going to use finger 1, finger 2 and finger 3 all on the same fret, all on fret 3 of your first string. So, finger one, finger two, and finger three. I'll just do that again. So, I've got finger one, finger two, and finger three. And then you can also try and use the same fingers but on different frets. So, we can use finger three, fret three, finger two, fret two, finger one, fret one. So... It's definitely worthwhile trying all this on different strings as well, just to make sure that you're not catching any of the uh, strings underneath. So you can just pick any fret using any finger and just see what you can come up with, just, just for practice. So you might come up with something you like the sound of. Uh, as with the hammer-ons, also remember about the rhythm. So you don't want to pull off too quickly. You've got to think about keeping that even rhythm all the way through. So don't pull off like this. You want to try and keep that same speed all the way through. So delay pulling off. And then when you do, it's a, a brisk flick, a fairly quick flick. So delay, pull off, delay, pull off. So, and so on. 